Hello, folks. It is uh, Mon uh, Wednesday, not Monday, Wednesday, March 18th. You'll be watching this um, on the 19th. Just wanted to give you an update of um, how things are here at First United Methodist Church in Chula Vista. Um, and uh, first of all, I would uh, just share with you that as of this morning, our preschool um, is closed. We serve you know, uh, uh, close to 200 students, and uh, the last uh, Monday and Tuesday of this week, really low attendance, and parents are pulling kids out, and we've been in constant contact with licensing agencies um, and also the San Diego um, Department, uh, San Diego County Department of Health, and what they have shared with us is that though we're not required to close, we, it is recommended and in consultation with lots of other preschools around, we've uh, finally made that decision. And so we met with our teachers this morning and working on making sure that financially they're cared for during this time. And, and um, obviously there's lots to be concerned and, and in prayer for about everything um, uh, to do with the preschool closing. And so um, appreciate uh, you keeping that in your prayers. Wanted to also share with you that every morning uh, we are sending out uh, between 7 and 7.30 an email that has a daily digital content on there. You'll find uh, uh, um, stuff from music ministries, uh, Bible studies, worship services, uh, stuff from children's ministries, uh, youth ministries, content that you can use throughout the day. Um, to increase uh, your connection to the church, your connection to God, to grow your spiritual life. And so we're trying to serve you in those ways. So I invite you to take a look at that. And, and as always, um, forward that email to friends and family of yours that you think might find those resources helpful. Also, we started a um, daily Monday through Thursday, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, a daily prayer group that'll meet on video or phone. So if you're a video kind of person and you can do a conference call by video, um, that, daily con uh, that, that daily digital email will have the information. You just need to save it once. Every morning at 8.30, um, they, we will have a prayer group. Um, so people will gather on and uh, share their concerns. We'll pray together. Then we'll go about our day. If you can't connect via a computer or you know people in the congregation who can't connect via a computer, you can do it with a simple phone, any phone. You can call in. And so I'm going to hold this up, um, copy this down. So there's a phone number that they would call once they get um, through on that phone number, then they would enter a key in their meeting ID. And it's the same every day. They just need to know this once. Um, please, please share this with people around the congregation. Um, we're especially concerned about those who are not connected um, online because they can become really isolated during uh, during this this uh, these kinds of challenges. So also want to encourage you to continue your giving in the congregation. Obviously, the congregation, the church stays open. We have a, uh, almost all of the same costs, and, and uh, there are people who are not able to give because they're not working, and so no work, no pay for many people, and, and uh, then others who are fearful about um, just finances and, and going forward. What I would ask is that if you are in a position to be able to pay your pledge in advance, so maybe pay for the month of April or the month of April and May, that if you're in a position to do that, to consider whether that's something you would be willing to do. Um, and that helps our congregation get from now to a couple months from now financially and, and just in terms of cash flow and, and being able to, to um, advance the ministries of the church. So for some of you, not everyone can do that. We understand. Some of you are in the place to be able to do that and maybe that's something that you can do to serve uh, your brothers and sisters in Christ at this time. So also uh, want to issue you a challenge. I've heard some wonderful stories already about um, the number of times some of our um, elderly or vulnerable folks have been called by other church members just to check in, people shopping for one another. Here's my challenge to you, that every one of us, every day um, during this COVID-19 pandemic um, a crisis, that every one of us every day would call two people from our church family. Pick two people who might be more isolated or in that vulnerable population. 
let me say, don't forget the young families in our midst who um, some of them have to stop working because their kids are out of school or their, the pre, their preschool is closed. Um, and they too are in very isolated and different circumstances. Pick anybody, two people every day. Think what would happen if every one of us did that. If we had hundreds of people making hundreds of calls every day, we would be making thousands of connections with one another every single day uh, during this time um, and building our relationship with one another, building our relationship with Christ. My guess is, you know, I made my two calls this morning. Each one lasted about five minutes. That was 10 minutes out of my day. Um, and uh, two wonderful conversations. Doesn't have to be long. Checking in, making sure people are okay, praying together, moving on. So invite you, to, I, I don't invite you, I challenge you uh, to, to do that. Uh, if you are watching this and you're not a part of our church and someone has, has shared this information with you, just call two people. It doesn't matter. Um, uh, call two people who you're thinking about who, who might need, need uh, some connection. Finally, what I would leave you with is um, every Sunday going forward, we're going to have two worship services. They're going to be live streamed Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Um, in the sanctuary, Sunday morning, 11 a.m. in the fellowship hall. So you can get online. Uh, you can uh, Our daily uh, digital content email will have uh, the, the ways to get online. You can also go to our churches. Uh, you can search our church on YouTube and just save that YouTube page because that's where, that's where we'll go live. Uh, so Sunday, 9 a.m. or 11 a.m., you can watch the service live as it's happening. Or any time after that, those services will be recorded and placed on YouTube so you can watch them as well. So... Um, invite you to join us on, on Sunday for worship. Please, um, if you have any needs, call us here in the church office. Let us connect you to people who um, are willing to serve. We have lots of folks who, who have called and offered their time and talent and, and energy to uh, help those who might be in those vulnerable populations and, and uh, we want to care for. So take care of yourself. Um, take care of others. God bless you. Know that God is holding all of us um, uh, in God's arms. God bless.